Hello? It's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? 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 My wife. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Careful and cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. But she had called me. Oh my god. The game audio. The the the, the voice acting in this game is amazing and the terrible at the same time. Loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna get attacked by something. <clears throat> All right, do I want to go that way? I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some way. sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Anna, play it again. Definitely play this again. It's so, so laughable. It's supposed to be a scary game, but I laugh every single time I play this. Ooh, hell yeah. Let's get this. Give me those flares. That shotgun ammo. Is everything reloaded? That's right. I gotta. I gotta dodge. Ow! Dick. Is there more? Okay. How do you learn how to play this game? <laughs> All right. Well, we could probably now grab these. Uh. These bullets. These bullets. I did forget how to dodge. I think it's just space bar. I think dodge is just space. Also, I don't like the heavy breathing that happens when you go to those, um, like, supply caches. You're over there, all of a sudden you hear Alan breathing like, <laughs> like that. Follow. You guys can hear that, right? All that breathing? I hate it. ASMR breathing? No, thank you. No, thank you. That's like the worst form of ASMR, is the breathing. Whoa! Hello. Yep. Yep, the that's gonna break. That was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Woo! Ow! Oh God! <laughs> Stop it, darkness! Bad! Don't kill me! Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Okay, darkness. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with that? I guess shine my light? I guess, okay, I should use a flare. 
Let's use a flare that time. I was confused. I was like, what exactly is attacking me? I get that the darkness hates me in my flashlight. So that gets pulled up. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. Go this way. It's like hard to Ow. You know what? Oh god, I can't go that way. Oh god. <laughs> what do you do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, darkness. I'm sorry I made fun of you. Alright, I guess don't go that direction. Am I supposed to like focus on the ones that are like vibrating? Cause they're all vibrating. Yeah, I know. I know the darkness. darkness. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in the sky. Here we go. So I can't tell which one I'm supposed to focus on. Get them all? Yeah. Well, that one's bored. Stop it. I just use like fitty batteries. Darkness? Stop it. Don't do that. Okay. Whoa! This is why I use rechargeable batteries. Was there rechargeable batteries in 2010? There probably was, but it probably wasn't great. Oh, God. All right, what's this say? Wake in the dark presence of the lodge. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Rechargeable batteries were standard in 2010? L look, I'm really behind. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Of course it I thought was. about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. Duty flashlight. It was getting closer. Guys, I got now. I got a heavy duty flashlight now. No more little flashlight. Heavy duty for me. Also, Alan, you would be inspired by a Stephen King. Last March feels like 10 years ago, right? I, I'm with you. I am with you on that. Okay. Let's move on. Huh. 
Oh, there goes our light. Flare? I do like flares. I do like flares. <gasps> Coffee mug. Okay. This feels like a battle. Feels like we're going to have a battle on our hands here in a second. Yeah, Ash just ordered some rechargeable batteries, and I keep forgetting that's that's a thing. Did you call 911? Hi! I have a flare. Oh, oh come on. Oh, Alan, you put yourself in a really terrible situation. Oh! Oh, God. Flare. <laughs> he touched into that. I legit like trying to dodge and I caught it with my face. Oh, okay. That happened. Man. Okay. Oh, hi! Wait. Go out the door! Okay. Come on, dodge, Alan! Christ! You take three- like, four shots? With the shoddy? Good lord. Y'all, did you call 911? Cause I saw a crime go. Can I open this door? I can't, okay. I done seen a crime go. Ooh, there's a TV. Let's go watch our next uh, episode of uh, Night Springs. We take the facts of our existence for granted, <clears throat> unaware that they're merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right. In Night Springs. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Oh my god, these TV shows. Until tonight. Oh, they must have had so much fun filming these. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. My editor loves well, this stuff. Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. <laughs> oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. Oh. I'm we are man short. Oh. I do with an intimate perspective. <gasps> oh, intimate perspective. <laughs> That's the least I. What would I have to do? Yeah. Oh, here. <gasps> I'll show you with a kiss. I am. Um, I... <laughs> oh. What, what did you oh, she poisoned him. <gasps> oh, Aliens? All shall be glory. Uh oh. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. This turned into aliens. Alvin Durlet learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In Night Springs. In Night Springs. That was a quick twist. At first I was like, yeah, this got sexy. And then she like implanted him with her, her myth babies. All 
Alright. Oh, oh, hello. Manuscript. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Okay, so it looks like we're about to fight a boss. Boss fight! Yep, here it comes. Oh, darkness, no! Not, not, not that! Anything but that! Oh! Oh god. Oh god. Watch the truck, watch the truck, watch the truck, watch the truck. Oh, come on! Oh god! Oh god! darkness stop it oh god oh god okay this is not great this is not great oh. is is it shift to dodge maybe it's shift to dodge Okay, let's do that a little bit better, right? Oh. But. Do I just leave, maybe? Shit! Hey guys, what's up? Yeah. Murdered that fool. Maybe I just leave. Oh. Oh, yeah, I get stuck, truck. Oh, it's stuck! <laughs> you all got stuck on your own little pipes! <laughs> ah! <laughs> sorry! Sorry! Go away! Kanafuru, thank you so much for that resub. Drop them bears. You know what? Have a flare. Am I supposed to like do something to it? Dodge! Oh! You weren't supposed to dodge! Oh, oh, 
no, 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 no. Oh, it got unstuck. Oh, God. Was that that was Reagan also thank you so much for that reset the organ so get to that sub thank you Drop the bears. uh I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here I'm gonna try to just leave can I just jump up here I can't oh you ran over your friend Oh, you're no, 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 me. Ow. Okay. I can't tell if this is just like a wave. Fuck. That was long. All right. Well, we survived. All these emergencies. So I legit thought we could just jump this thing and leave. Oh, Alan. Sorry I overworked you, buddy. That was pretty hilarious how I got stuck on this pipe. Out of here, pipe. There we go. Find a vehicle. Checkpoint reached. Here's a vehicle. I imagine we need to find a key for it though, right? Well, maybe not. Oh, okay, key's in there. Awesome. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Get to the coal mine. Do I really want to go into a coal mine, though? That's dark? The coal mine wasn't far now. This game is pretty. Like the place they're in? Very pretty. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Coal Mine Museum! Should I have taken the car? I probably should take the car. Oh my god, Alan. Already? No more road killing? Uh, there might be some road killing. Alright, Alan, it's clear that you can't. There you go. Let's just take the car. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. Okay, okay. Something on over here. 
We're still going to the, the, the cave museum. Right, so there's a road closure here. Okay, so the, the, the bridge is out. So we do have to go on foot. Could have gone around, though. With our car. Yeah, we could probably take our car still. Look, Alan's a writer. Jessie is like, she's been training to find her brother Dylan for forever. Look, I relate to Alan, all right? We're gonna keep driving. Oh, pfft. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Rough road, all right? Oop. Ow. Is it that way? It's over here. We have like a cache. Anything over here? Anything? Anything at all? Man, it's so peaceful during the day! I miss- I miss this! I just wish we had more days where, like, we could just walk around during the sunlight. Where it's all nice and cozy and there's no one trying to kill us. Alright, we probably have to keep going that way, but I want to go up here. I bet there's something up here. Yeah, what's this? Ooh. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBFF. It's Pat! Folks. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, hmm. I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first... A little music. music. I'll walk away from that music. Okay, so we probably want to continue that way, but I'm curious what's down here. So yeah, last time we were at the radio tower, or the radio station, we were talking to that guy, and literally the moment we started talking to the radio host, the FBI asshole showed up and started shooting me. Like, just straight up started to shoot me. Right, I just want to see if there's anything else down here. If there's not, we'll go back upstairs. Though this feels like... Okay, yeah, this just goes around. So either I could take this truck, or I could take that really nice Jeep. Eh, I'm in the truck already. Any screen? No? Okay. Hill. Hill sign. Right, there's that fire watch. Should we go back up there? Let's go back up there. Let's just see what's in the fire watch. There's a porta potty down here. I I wish the porta potty was closer to the hill, to the fire watch. I would hate to have to go all down these stairs every single time I just wanted to use the restroom. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Oh, this is now, nice. Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, 
To me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> this is, like, really <laughs> nice. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and... That's the sawmill that we're at. That chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Mm, get okay. personal. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... She was the one. I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Oh, poor Pat. Uh, it's so pretty up here. Me and Ash looked at an Airbnb once that was out on top of a fire watch, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Though the, the bathroom situation was sort of like this, where you had to go down a couple flights of stairs. Sort of put a damper on the whole renting that place, but it was gorgeous. Pray for Pat. Whoa, Tokyo Drift! Let's go in here. I'm curious. I'm curious enough to go in here. What was that? Some weird ass noises up in here. Uh, it's, it's like less scary during the day. Ha! Knew there was a manuscript around here. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Oh, come on, Mott. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. He'd been promised? Excuse me? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I don't even know if we're there. This is the sawmill. Tokyo Drift! Whee! Oh, okay, I see. Well, wait. I think I said visitor parking over here. Yeah, visitor parking. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a visitor. I'm clearly a visitor. I'll park right here. Let's just get right up in here. We'll do a little parallel parking. There we go. Good job, Alan. We parked. Let's, let's be let's be nice about it. Oh, let's just see. Well, lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined at the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shaft particularly dangerous. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this little uh, little museum. Museum entrance is that way. Okay. What's over here? So yeah, this is up in um 
Washington. So I'm guessing we're close to Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier. While there were some early residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came from the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, manuscript. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Oh, yeah. He's gonna try to kill me. That's what he's gonna try to do. He's gonna try to kill me. Oh, what's this? In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. Thirteen miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around Blair Falls came to a stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, Cauldron Lake was where we were staying at before it disappeared. Oh, cutscene. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. God, Alan, control your fucking anger. Blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? You could have called fucking Alice. earlier. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. You could have called earlier. I've been I waiting all day. Maybe closer than ever before. You could have called when we still had daylight, dude. It would have been safer for the, all of us. Instead, you make me wait in a dirty old shack all day. Maybe we could talk it out with the darkness, ask for an extension, right? Look, look, we're, we're, we're on it, okay, darkness? Just give us a couple more days. We're having a terrible writer's block. Like a really bad writer's block, all right? 